All right, y'all. Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. It's almost lights out. Oh, man, it's got to be pushing almost 8.30 or so, close to 9. Now I'm wore out, tired. But let me let me let me let me give y'all some 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 heads up right quick. So you got the day through, you burn through it. You know, today a lot of problems. I mean, uh ended up uh the baler had a burn going out, uh almost got it done. Uh I like two bales of hay, right? And it and it was picking the hay up, picking the hay up, but then it would stop. The belts would stop spinning. And I knew the burn was squealing, uh, but I was pushing through it. I was like, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. And I kept going back there, putting more grease on it. Uh, it doesn't have a grease fitting. Uh, for some reason, these bales, uh, they don't they don't come with, they're sealed bearings, so it sucks. But So then I get home, and Mama was cutting the grass, or she was going to cut the grass, and she said, well, she come over there. I backed the baler in to, by the by the shop, and I was like, all right, I'm going to fix this sucker before next cutting, right? And uh, and she comes over there and said, well, there's something wrong with it. You know, great news. Hey, baby, how are you doing, honey? I love you, you know? No, here we come. Uh, something wrong with the lawnmower. I'm like, well, what's wrong with the lawnmower? Well, it starts smoking. I'm like, out the muffler? She goes, well, I don't know. It just starts smoking by the motor. And I'm like, okay, here we go. So there, there's that. The four-wheeler won't, the four-wheeler won't, four-wheeler won't crank. The golf cart has something wrong with it. And I'm like, all right. But even though, even though, and I, and I take this to heart for real, seriously, even though all hell's breaking loose in your life and all things are just, just gobs of terrible, it don't matter. Give God the glory and thank him for it, period. Good or bad, whether abased or abound, just go ahead and thank God, period. Because <laughs> what else are you going to do about it anyway? Check out the moon, by the way. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous thing back there. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. But anyway, just praise God in all things, whether 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 you think they're good or bad, flat tire on the side of the road, you know, things ain't going your way. It don't matter, man. Just stay with God on it. Talk to him about it. And, uh, you know, plan the next day and say, hey, God willing, I'll get me a shower. I'm going to go to bed, think about this, and, 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 and you know, get the baler fixed, get the lawnmower fixed, whatever. Just got to deal with what you got. Whatever's thrown in front of you, rock and roll and deal with it, right? So just a quick encouragement, hopefully, to somebody. Uh, don't don't let things get you down. It's easy to let you get, get, get you down because you're like, all this stuff's bam, 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 flat tire, and, you know, all this, and the baler went out and – couldn't finish the hay job, and uh, hey, how about all the hay you did get? How about that? Huh? Is that great? Heck yeah, it's great because in our situation right now, twelve days without rain, yeah, we might be fixing to head towards a drought. So praise God for that, and thank Him for that, and that little moon up there. I just want to show you the moon. Isn't that beautiful? All right, y'all have a good night, or if you're watching this in the morning, have a great day. See ya.